You may have heard about different colours in your aura, and I'm here to speak with Lawrence Gibson, who's going to tell us all about it. Hello. Hi, Hi Lawrence. So, <laughs> how do you work? How, how do you go about taking well, someone's aura? Well, uh, our client sits in a hot seat just over there, and the, the camera is attached to electromagnetic plates, okay. and that senses the, the electromagnetic energy from your hand, and produces a uh, picture of something like this one, which uh, the aura is bright at the top. You see that b bright green, greeny, yellowy yeah. bit, around, which represents expansion and growth within her consciousness. Um, but the dark blue over her body, you can see there, um, actually probably because she's in the middle of it, thick of all these people here, indicates actually essentially she wants to get away from it all. She wants to spend some time like up by herself meditating, really. So different colours mean different things. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the deeper, darker the blue, the more someone wants to be alone, basically. So what does the red mean? Red is the most grounded of the colours. If you refract light through a prism, then red goes down to the ground, whereas white and purple shoot off up to the top. But uh, the, the grounding nature of red is, is relevant to your career, to your ambition, your motivation, your passion. drive. Passion too, yeah. Orange is generally a more sexual colour, actually. But, but the, the, certainly the get up and go, that's the red, yeah. Okay. The different colours have different meanings depending on where they're located. Um, and obviously each, each colour carries a vibration and can affect the body differently. So it's quite an in-depth look at you now. Not you last month or next month, but you now. So can a person's aura change? Within a reading alone, you know, if, 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 if there are a few uh, negative and inverted commas, uh, things in the aura, if, if, if I bring those out, highlight them to the person, we talk about them openly, get it discussed, you know, and, and uh, in the reading begin to address the issue, by the end of the reading it will be diminished at least, let's say, you know. So, so it's fascinating, yeah. Well, that's fantastic. Thank you so much, Lawrence. You're welcome. For talking with us. See that's you later. Great. Thank you. Bye.